everybody, welcome back to another episode of Crafting with Catherine. In today's video, we are finally building a theme park. You guys have been requesting this for a really long time and I'm so excited to finally add it into my world. But as you guys already know, before we start building anything, we have to go add some new art into the art museum. Okay, so let's see. Let's go put the new artwork right over here. Okay, so this week we have some artwork from Ari, Bryn, Emily, Melissa, Jack, Gamerayana, Patty, Phoebe, Shahri, Sasha, The Funny Hermie, Shelby, Rakshita, Lily, and Peppers. Okay, well now that we have the new art added, let's go work on the theme park. All right guys, so here is the theme park. Obviously it's not done yet. There's still a lot we need to do, but this is the main entrance to the theme park. I built a pretty rainbow just because I thought that was kind of cute. And for some reason, I went for like a castle vibe. So you'll see a lot of little castle structures in this park. If I fly over the entrance real quick, you'll see all the attractions that we have. When you first walk in and get your tickets over here, we have a little gift shop. This is going to be the teacup ride. Over here we have a little concession stand. This is that like pirate ship ride that swings back and forth. Then behind the pirate ship ride we have some bathrooms. Down this way we have another concession stand. We have our first roller coaster back here, which I am calling the sheep drop of doom. Um, so we have to build a sheep somewhere around there still. Next to that coaster, we have a Ferris wheel. Then we have a second roller coaster back here that you guys can see I started adding some rails to because um, this one goes straight up, so I can't actually put rails on that one. This coaster is gonna be just for show, whereas this one will actually be rideable. Next to this coaster, we have a swing ride. And then next to this, we have a go-kart track. Then again, we have another concession stand. And if we fly back to the front over here, you'll see that we have a little fountain right when you walk in. And past the fountain, we're gonna have a merry-go-round or a carousel, whatever you guys prefer to call it. And then right behind the carousel is the food area. So I decided to do like a little food stand section and we're gonna fill this whole section up with tables and chairs. And then over here, this is the castle arcade. So you can walk through here. There's gonna be arcade games in here. And then if you walk Walk out it brings you right to the ferris wheel okay so these are all the attractions in my theme park i hope you guys like them i'm really excited i think they all look really cute but now that we have all this it's time to decorate and add the finishing details all right guys so i think we should start working on the front of the park and then work our way back 
So let's go up to the ticket booth and we can go ahead and add a little modern teller window with a window on top just so it kind of blends together. Now over here we have our first little concession stand but the first thing I want to do in here is light it up because it is really really dark then we can add two counters along the back wall along with a soda machine in the middle then we can just add some item frames back here and we can display what we're selling so we can have some pretzels some chips some french fries and on the sides over here we can display some drinks now all we need is a little register right in the middle and we have ourselves a cute little concession stand Wait, maybe we should add some more item frames in the front, that way we can display them out here too. <gasps> yeah, that's really cute. Now let's go on over to this one, and I kind of want to make this a little ice cream stand. So we can put an ice cream display right over here with some counters next to it. And again, we'll just add a bunch of item frames, that way we can display what we're selling. Now for this last snack stand, we're going to have to do a little bit of pretending because I don't have everything that I actually want. So we have cotton candy, but we're gonna be pretending that this is funnel cake, even though it says pasta. And we're gonna be pretending that this cream cookie is actually a fried Oreo. We'll add drinks on the side, and then in the middle, we'll have our fried Oreos, our funnel cake, and cotton candy. Okay, so now that all these little snack stands are done, let's go work on the go-karts. Now for this little building over by the go-kart track, I was thinking we can keep it pretty simple by just adding some of these red counters to the front. Then we can go ahead and add some red doors. Now since this building is for people to sign in to get a go-kart so that they can go racing, I wasn't entirely sure on like what to put in here decoration-wise. And then I thought, tires. We will decorate the walls in this building with tires. So we can go ahead and do something like this. Then we can add the rims and we can add some iron bars so that they kind of look like they're on some kind of rack. And there we go. We have some tires. So here is the little go-kart building. And now I wanna show you guys the go-kart that I made. Look how cute this thing is. I found a tutorial online on how to make it and I'm obsessed. These look so cool. It would be cooler if we could actually ride them, but I don't have that mod. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have a couple of go-karts over on the track, let's move on over to the swing ride. And for this, I kind of thought it would be funny if we um, hung llamas from the fences and pretended that they were uh, swings. It's, uh, it's kind of weird, but listen, okay? It's gonna look funny. <laughs> okay, so we need 12 llamas. So one, two, oh, that's a baby. I'm gonna have to kill you, I'm sorry. So one, Two, no, another baby. Two, no, no, three, no, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we have twelve adult llamas. I am so sorry that I have to do this. Everybody, close your eyes. Okay, now I have to go around and tame all these llamas. This is gonna take a while. Okay, so all the llamas have been tamed and they look beautiful in their cute little carpets. But now we must lead them all and hang them from here. <laughs> hmm, this looks kind of questionable, but it also looks like a really fun llama ride. Am I right? No llamas were harmed in the making of this ride, I promise. Okay, but wait, guys, look how cute this is. You cannot say that this is not a brilliant idea. <laughs> okay, well, now that we have um, that, <laughs> let's go ahead and start working on the queue line. Now, I want to have the entrance over on this side to the ride so we can just break this open. Then we can just make a little spot for the ride operator to control the ride. Let's go ahead and add some stairs here. Then we can use some of this purple glass for the queue line and there we go. So now the people that want to go on the ride can just walk through here and then go this way and then they can go up the stairs and pick their llama. So over here in the middle, we have the little carousel and as you can see, um, we have a horse victim. There he goes. <laughs> Hello, little horsey! So basically what I want to do is I want to put a bunch of horses on this track in the middle and then cover it up so it kind of looks like a carousel. Friend, be my friend, be my friend, be my friend, be All right. Ah, uh, this is going to take a while again. Okay, I'll be back once all the horses are tamed. 
Okay, so we have our horses and they're wearing their armor. So now we just need to go ahead and add a minecart to the track. And we need to grab a lead and we need to pull the horse into the minecart. Get, 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 yes. And let's get this one to go in. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so now that all the horses are in the minecart, so we need to go ahead and fix up this track a little bit. So let's just reconnect these paths. Guys, my carousel is failing. They all just keep getting stuck. I'm so confused. Wait, why? <gasps> we did it. We got three horses working. I really want to add more, but like I honestly don't want to mess it up again. And that took a really long time. So we are only going to have three horses on this carousel and that's okay. Now we just need to cover everything with carpet so that you can't actually see the tracks. Ta-da, we have a carousel. Look at those little ponies. Okay, now I said that I want to start in the front and work my way towards the back of the park, but I kind of feel like doing the gift shop later. So let's work on the teacup ride. As you can see, I've already done the queue line and the little entrance. So now basically all we need are teacups. So let's put one over here. We're gonna make this first one blue and we're gonna give it a blue handle. There we go. And now next to this one, we can make a purple teacup. And then we can just add a purple handle. Next, we can make a magenta teacup. And then we can make a light pink teacup. And there we go. Now we have a bunch of teacups for our teacup ride. These are actually so cute. Look at them. Okay, well now that the teacup ride is done, I guess I can go ahead and start working on the bathrooms. This is what they look like. I think they look cute. It's kind of like a little castle bathroom. But again, like I normally say, I'm not gonna show you me doing the inside of the bathroom because that's boring and I'll show it to you when I'm done. All right guys, so here are our bathrooms. I just finished decorating the inside. For the boys room, it just looks like this. Both of the bathrooms look literally the same, but I decided to make them kind of fun and do rainbow doors. So we have red, orange, yellow, green over there. And then if we go into the girls room, the doors turn into blue, purple, magenta, and pink. Now there's not much that I need to do to the pirate ship ride, mainly because this is basically what it is. But I can add a queue line, so I'll just go ahead and add that right around here. There we go, and now we can go work on the food court. Okay, so now in the food court, we have four little food stand places, and I wanna go ahead and add some matching item frames to each one. So this is the pink food stand, so we have pink item frames. The green food stand can have green item frames. Then blue can have blue, and purple can have purple. Now on each one of these food stands, we can go ahead and add a soda machine with some counters. And since this is the pink one, let's go ahead and add some pink counters. Put a soda machine right there. And we can add a sink over here. And now that I'm thinking about it, we should probably also add an oven and a fridge. Now we can just add some more item frames along this back wall. And this little pink stand is done. Now I think I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the rest of these real quick. There we go. So now we have pink, green, blue, and purple food stands. And let's make the blue one sell burgers. The purple stand can sell tacos. The pink stand can sell hot dogs. And the green one can sell salad. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and place some tables and chairs. Okay, so here are all of our tables, and I kind of thought it would be fun if I just like mix match the chairs and just did like a bunch of different colored ones all around. Oh, I really like this. Look how colorful all of the chairs are. Oh, and you know what I just realized? I did not put registers in here. Wait a minute, there we go. Now let's add some garbage cans around here. And I think the food court area is done. Now for the castle arcade, I wanna start by putting some balloons outside. For the inside of the arcade, I wanna keep it pretty simple. So in the middle of the room, we can have a little prize counter and then we can add some prizes to it. And then along both of these walls, we can add some arcade cabinets. Maybe we can even put two on either side of the entrance. These look so cool. I wish they actually worked. That would be awesome. Okay, so now that the arcade is done, we can start working on the roller coasters. Now, this one isn't going to be able to work like I mentioned before, so this one's just for show, but this one over here actually works and I started putting some of the tracks down, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay the rest of these tracks and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I finished putting all the tracks on the roller coaster, so, um, now let's test it. I have not tried this yet, so this will be a first time for the both of us. Let's go. This is actually so fun. <gasps> Guys, it's working perfectly. Look at it. It's beautiful. But wait, I need it. I need Hey, I need to get off. It's making me go around to get No. Ha. 
Okay. Well, goodbye, minecart. <laughs> okay, well, the roller coaster works and it's actually a lot of fun. The card is uh, traveling by itself. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, well now that that coaster is working, let's head on over to the gift shop. All right, so here's the gift shop, and now we just gotta go inside and put stuff on these shelves. So over here, we can sell some sheepies, some pig plushies and cow plushies. Then we can sell some bunny plushies, some creepers, some little dinosaurs, and then we can also sell some unicorns and alpacas. Now we can go ahead and add a register to this counter and this counter over here. And now I think the inside of our little gift shop is done. All right guys, well since all the main things are pretty much done, I'm just gonna go ahead quickly around the park to add some final details like flowers, benches, and garbage cans and stuff like that. And then I'll show it to you when I'm done. All right guys, so the theme park is finally done, um, but there are so many items in this one area that I literally have 15 frames. So um, this tour might be a little bit laggy, so I'm sorry about that, but uh, let's just get into it. So here we have the beautiful entrance to the theme park. And if we go over here, we can grab our tickets and walk on in. There's a cute little fountain over here. To the left, we have a really cute little gift shop with a bunch of little plushies for sale. If we go over this way, there's a little snack stand. And then over here is the go-kart track. So people can just go over here, get their little go-kart, and then they just walk on through this part of the building and onto their track in their go-kart. Over here, we have the um, interesting carousel with three horses because all the other ones didn't want to work, but it's okay. It still kind of works. <laughs> and then next to that, we have another little snack stand place. And then we have my favorite thing in this park, the llama swing ride. It is so funny and it's so cute. I just love it so much. Then if we go over this way, we have the food court area with a bunch of food and chairs and tables for people to sit and eat at. Then if you walk straight through this way, this is the little castle arcade. So people can come in here and play some games to win some prizes. Then if you just walk on through, you'll see the Ferris wheel. Next to this Ferris wheel, we have a roller coaster over here. And actually over on this roller coaster, I put a sheep up top because this coaster is called the Sheep Drop of Doom. And I know that you can't actually ride this one, but the idea of it is cool because you would go all the way up here and you would go under the little sheep and then you would drop. <laughs> Right in front of the Sheep Drop of Doom, we have another little snack stand, and this one is for ice cream. Over here, we have the bathrooms, and we have the pirate ship swing ride. Over here, we have another little snack stand, and then we have the teacup ride. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for this theme park. It took a while, so I really hope you like it. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye.